Welcome back. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in American men behind lung cancer, but most men diagnosed with the disease do survive, and early diagnosis is key in taking steps to prevent the more advanced cases. As part of Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, joining us now, radiation oncologist Dr. Brad Greenfield from Singing River Health System. Dr. Greenfield, thanks so much for joining us. and. Um, it is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. It's important to remember a lot of things that uh, factor into this disease. And first of all, screening is very important. Yes, so as you were saying, uh, prostate cancer is the second most common cancer in men, uh, only behind skin cancer, uh, and is the second leading cause of death uh, related for uh, as far as cancer uh, in men as well. So screening is very important. Uh, it's very important to learn what the cancer is ahead of time or to know what the prognosis is and to get the right treatment. Um, sometimes very low risk cancer, you don't even need treatment. So, but the more advanced, the, the earlier you get to, you get to the cancer uh, and treatment, uh, the better it is. Yeah, and that's what we're going to talk about in just a minute because that's really your specialty. Uh, but first of all, um, men generally, this is something men over 60 primarily develop, but it can certainly happen earlier. When should people get screening? So I recommend the NCCN guidelines, uh, which is the National Comprehensive Cancer Network guidelines. Uh, they recommend screening starting at 45. Um, uh, basically, it's very easy to see online for most of the physicians. Uh, it's a very easy diagram to follow as far as and for patients in order to know when they should get screened and how they should get screened and how many times. Usually, it's one every four years. Uh, some people are higher risk, especially people from African ancestry uh, and people who have certain mutations and people who uh, have an extensive family history. And at that time, 40 years old is usually the, the, the starting point for screening. Okay. And Dr. Greenfield, I know that in some cases, in a lot of cases, really, there won't be any uh, treatment. There's a watch and wait that a lot of um, doctors are using now if the cancer is uh, small. But uh, some will need treatment. Surgery is an option. And you offer radiation therapy. Yes, so surgery and radiation are the primary options for localized disease. Uh, they both have different toxicities. Surgery more is uh, toxicity-wise, has a higher incidence of urinary incontinence and sexual dysfunction. Radiation doesn't really have that. Radiation has more GI concerns. Here at Singer River, we practice in, uh, the most up-to-date technology, um, and we use certain features and certain technology in order to avoid those GI toxicities, such as cone beam CT, every day in order to be able to isolate the tumor exactly where it is. We also use something called a, a, a space or which is a hydrogel, uh, which we inject, and we actually can avoid treating the rectum and actually put space between the prostate and the rectum in order to make sure that none of the GI gets any toxicity and there's about a 0% uh, grade two toxicities when we do these uh, type of procedures. So, Dr. Greenfield, the advances have been pretty tremendous in recent years then, especially, it sounds like, when it comes to radiation therapy. Yes, we are far more advanced. As I tell my patients, what we did 10, 15, 20 years ago is considered archaic. Um, we are far more advanced and uh, have multi-million dollar machines that are able to isolate within millimeters of accuracy exactly where we want the radiation to go. Uh, and we, like I said, we take daily imaging in order to make sure we're isolating the tumor and, and our plans are going exactly the way we want. And quickly, in the time we have left, are there specific symptoms that people can look for? I know the screening is really the key, but, but what are some of the symptoms that um, might remind someone, hey, I better get screened for prostate cancer? So uh, by the time symptoms happen, and usually the cancer is very advanced. That's why we recommend screening ahead of time uh, in order to catch these types of uh, cancers before they cause symptoms. Again, the whole goal is quality and quantity of life. We want people to live longer, but we want quality of life. So we want to get this before it can affect your quality of life. We want to be able to treat the cancer so you can go and uh, not have to see doctors for a long time. All right, that's very good advice. Dr. Brad Greenfield from Singing River Health System, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.